Hello fish head friends, Joe here. Thought I'd give you an update on my 10 gallon today. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Neon Tetras. Uh, if you follow me for a while, I had gotten, I think it was back in April of this year, I got I think 12 Neon Tetras for in here. I got them from PetSmart and they came with um, fin rot and funky mouth funguses. I have treated them several times, um, at least three or four times with erythromycin, ICX, and General Cure. Um, I also started putting, oh, sorry, my dog's shaking me around right now. Um, I also put a bunch of catalpa leaves in here and alder cones, and they just have not gotten any better. It's November now, I got them in April. I euthanized um, four of them a month or two ago. I'd lost some others, you know, over the duration of having them. And the four I euthanized were looking really bad. They, um, their fins were just barely there. They had it on their scales as well. Uh, they could barely swim. They couldn't eat. They were tiny, super thin. Um, most of them couldn't even get food in their mouth because they had such weird growths on them. Uh, I treated them, like I said, a month ago, maybe two, I can't remember now. Um, probably should have checked that before I started this, but... Um, and they haven't gotten any better, and in fact, a few of them, uh, they're actually developing mouth fungus again. You can see these two right in the middle here. I was hoping, you know, I gave it time for the fin rot to heal up. I gave it time for the mouth growths to shrink or just not grow, but they're starting to get worse again. So, I don't know. It's a bummer. I don't feel it's right to keep medicating them because I know that hurts them too. That damages their liver or kidneys or, you know, some of their internal organs. Uh, so... I'm just going to watch them for a little bit longer, I guess. Maybe I'll treat them again, but it doesn't seem to be working. I'll probably, if I do treat them, maybe I'll try something else. But at this point, I'm not sure. Uh, the rest of the fish seem to be fine. They're not affected by the fungus or fin rot. At least not that I can tell. This guy with the giant tail, this guppy, his tail is a little tattered at the end. But I don't think it's fin rot. I think it's just results of him swimming with that giant tail. Um, with his weirdly fat body. He's got that kink in his spine. He's really got to shake and, and uh, paddle hard to get moving. So I just kind of see that as uh, just normal tatter. But maybe not. If you guys uh, think it might be fin rot, let me know. Looking at it again, I guess it is a little whiter on the edges, a little more tattered and uneven than I thought, but not sure. The female, let's see if I can focus, she's got um, this weird spot on her, her tail too, right above her tail fin. I guess that's the peduncle. It's kind of a fun thing to say. Um, she's got a weird spot. I don't think it's fin rot or anything like that. Hasn't gotten any worse for a while, but I'm keeping an eye on that. Uh, I do have a few generations of fry in here. This one, this little girl here, I'm pretty sure that'll be a female. Well, that guy's looking good. I like him a lot. Oh, focus. There we go. That guy I like a lot. And this one uh, right here with the yellow and orange tail, he's going to be pretty cool. And then I have this other juvie here, another female, kind of yellowish with the red tail. Um... She's got a crooked spine, too, so I guess that's going to be pretty predominant in this gene pool. Um, down the road, I don't know if I'll really bother calling them. You know, the deformities don't bother me. If I knew this tank was healthy, perhaps I'd just throw them in with the cichlids. But, again, the, the deformities don't bother me as long as it's a good quality of life. Um, I feel I'd do my best to give them a good quality of life. So that covers the fish. Oh, there is one more pretty tiny fry, uh, guppy fry in here. I don't see him currently, but 
maybe we'll see him. The auto is still popping around back there. I don't see him very often, but he's in there. And I believe I still have four cherry shrimp in here. Best I can tell, it's three females and a male. They haven't bred yet. I haven't seen any saddled or any uh, buried shrimp. I have plenty of hiding spots. I don't know exactly what I'm doing wrong with that. Maybe it's my water. I know a lot of people talk about TDS and that being important. I know other people say it's not important. I don't have a TDS meter, so I'm not going to bother with that. I do plan on just getting a handful more shrimp to boost the colony. Um, hopefully get some more algae control out of them. And hopefully get some breeding out of that batch. Uh, do As you can see, I do have a lot of algae in here. Like I've said in the past, the algae on the rocks and the uh, the back glass, side glass, on the decorations doesn't bother me. What does bother me is all the algae on the plants. Um, you know, the Anubius, I'm pretty sure Anubius is just kind of prone to, uh, to blackbeard algae and different algae because it is so slow growing. But I'm, I'm going to get another auto or two for in here, more shrimp like I said. Um, I'd like, I, I do have a ton of, um, I think just bladder snails, some sort of, uh, you know, quote unquote pest snails. I like them. They, uh, I see them as doing me a favor in here. And as long as I keep the front glass scraped clean of algae, they're almost never on the front glass. So that doesn't bother me at all. Um, you know, so I hope to get a better algae cleanup crew in here and I'm still figuring out the lights and fertilizer. This is my first planted tank, so... Um, I had hoped to have it figured out by now. It's been mm, several months. I mean, at least April. So, but you know, whatever. I'm still having fun. I overall like it. I do wish there was a little less algae, but whatever. My uh, dwarf hair grass is being overtaken by um, green hair algae. The substrate's being overtaken by blackbeard which that doesn't bother me. I feel like that'll probably choke out the plants over time, the black beard on the gravel. But I do like that look overall. And even like the, the hair grass, I don't mind the look. I like the look of flowing stuff. But again, when it gets onto my plants, that becomes the problem. So I'm still playing around, tweaking. You know, I use Easy Green, I dose once a week. And I have the light on a timer. I recently just turned it down. Um, I don't even know how many hours it's on right now, but you know, it's from roughly three or four o'clock uh, in the I think three o'clock, three thirty p.m. to around eleven p.m. I just turned it down to that. It was about two to eleven thirty. Um, so that is what I got. Not much else happening in here. Uh, any feedback you guys have on algae, the issues I'm having with the neons, shrimp breeding, or just in general, let me know. I'd be, be uh, very grateful for advice. So that's it, guys. Thanks. Have a good one.